Okay, let's see over here. Having some internet issues there, and also I have to use my other phone because of it, which means I never turn off the uh, vibrations on this one. Haptic feedback. So get on that one. So because of this, I only have about what is it? Four thirty-four though. So yeah. Anyways, this is a community event though that they usually have at the end of the year though, which happens to have all the previous Pokemon from community days of current year, which will be 2023, and some of the last year ones of 2022. During this time though, it'll be about two days long there in which you get a second chance of trying to get those with abilities and attacks there that you might have missed. Okay, let's see. Turn off the... Uh, Vibrations on this one for the echo. I forgot to switch that part off there. One moment. Off the uh, vibrations on this one. Okay. I did mess around with it yesterday though, because I didn't usually on these zero events so I always do the second day though, since they tend to combine the, the two days though. Oops, I dropped that. But as you can see, I already have another shiny Galarian slow Pokemon, which takes forever living up to its name. Okay, one moment here. Let's see this way. This way. Okay, you can you can saunter off or whatever. Welcome. This time might be a little relaxed. Like I said, I have to use another food. Also, due to me using another phone there for internet though, while working on the house phone or the house internet though, it might randomly get cut off though. There's a higher chance of that happening though. Also, the uh, thing might be a little blurry. Sorry about that. If not, yay. I would check on my check myself though, but usually I use, use that for my other device. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop playing around though and grab myself. I do now have enough candy though for the Noiver in there, so I'll get that here in a moment. I think the one I needed was called Elder Awesome. Ah! You knew hit me with that. Look like these fall with it though. Bonk. Also, there are some updates right now, though. And as of this recording, though, I have this is over with, though, there is currently two Pokemon games on Twitch, or there's doing drops there Pokemon Unite and the TGG. Yeah, you know, they were doing that. But apparently, the training card game as well. Back and forth over here trying to get those. Apparently, there's also a new thing. Oh, I, oh yeah. Apparently, uh, that's weird because I always turned it on. Yay. Also, there they did update the UI and such on here. Not that. As you can see right here, now you can see the showcases there. It's been like that for probably about a week or so. I just forgot to report about it. There's also some, at least probably a new metal. I got a little lag in here, so. Sorry about that though. Yeah. A new metal there. Not that one. There's a, yeah. Okay, it's not exactly a new metal, though, but there's some, there's metals there that you can get though for doing the uh, showcase there. 
Some people are saying, though, that this is a bad idea because it doesn't cater to the uh, rural people. Uh, actually, it's quite the opposite, though. If you live in a rural area, though, you have a greater chance, not 100% chance, but you got a greater chance of actually uh, winning these things, though, because there are probably not many people there. City people have to compete against of however many there might be, though. Also, I don't know. He only shows that many, though. There's way more than that. At least I thought there was. I don't know how they determine which uh, ones that will become a showcase place. Lucky for me, though, that on these whoopers there, I still need them, though, to do the little research. Ooh, speak mouth. I'll get to that icy hand shrew here in a moment. Let us hope that the next year, 2024, though, or whenever you people are watching this, so does not have that dog in there as the, the prize over there. Because, good lord, I know a lot of people are getting tired of seeing the same fur food over there.
Sorry if that was a little bit loud there. Need to forgot to turn it down. Mm, yep. A few days ago on Twitch, uh, there was some there was a Twitch drop for uh, Pokemon Go. I didn't realize until after the fact. Yeesh. But if anybody was watching this while this was on there, like I said though, there is a uh, Pokemon trading card drop on Twitch as well as Pokemon Unite. In recent news there, there was a little, I guess you could say a mix up there, of certain Pokemon being added to the game when they weren't supposed to though. Black and White Kyurem though was added to the uh, Battle League when they weren't supposed to be available at the moment. So like usual though, Niantic did try to fix this though and remove them. Darn. I do like the fact, though, that uh, I thought they were going to be more like uh, how they did with the uh, Galar Pokemon and just do a little sprinkle here and there of the uh, Scarlet and Violet Pokemon and then switch back to where they left off, which would be the Alolan. New. It looks like they're paying more attention to the. Oops, wrong one. To the Paldean ones even more so because they're adding some more. And yes, I know there are some people right now there. I know right now there are some people there still saying, though, you still didn't finish off the other ones. Though. They eventually would get there, like how long it took them to do the, uh, to do, do the, uh, kick me on. Don't push that button. Nothing but one level raids over here right now. Yikes. I figured there would be some decent raids going on right now, but apparently if you consider one star raids decent though. So right now, I can't really invite anybody to any decent raid, so, or at least anything that's the boss level. Since there is none near me. Ah, this is going to drive me crazy. I'm just going to do it now. I do question their hitbox, their or radius there of these Pokeballs though. Man. Sometimes it doesn't look like you'll get it excellent, other times you do. Only 
only got 10 minutes left though because internet hates me. It's the shortest ones. Oh. Wow. Now what went off? Wasn't that one? I'm still not sure why they call it a century if it's coated in ice and level and uh, evolves to having metal in it, you know, like blades or there's no sand in there. Bonk. <sighs> the double saw should have been higher than that. And then it's set up for you to terrorize the neighborhood. Seven minutes! You little stuffle. Somehow I made it. And I just realized that I put the wrong the colors in the wrong order on my logo. Oh well. So if you see my thumbnail though in the correct order later on though, good. Just won't see it on this screen because uh, I just realized it until after the fact. Uh, still doing the Paldean adventure though. Still got to do the Master Ball there, which I had to buy. I didn't have to buy, but I went and bought it anyway. So Mateo still waiting, and I still got to do timeless travel there. Thank goodness it's not exactly a timed thing, unlike some timed things. That guy, I think it's pronounced Mateo there though, but he reminds me of the uh, the uh, characters in the mainline game, so where they would give you gifts though, but you would have to show them certain Pokemon from other parts of the world that you traded for on the trading place uh, stations. Just for in this case though, it's the end of a route. Don't forget though, if you're able to though, you can still make routes there though. Just gotta watch out because, as far as I know, they are still picky about how routes are though. Even though some people tend to get get routes approved or routes, even though it didn't look like it should. Ooh, a shiny! Finally, they got a little chili in there. I'm gonna rub it into a Sonic. I mean, a uh, uh, Sand Slash. Which apparently I never done before. I also did notice though, they changed it to where you can give your Mega Evolved Pokemon new attacks though, because it used to be when you Mega Evolved it, for some reason that option wasn't available. No, wait, no, never mind, take that back though. It was the uh, giving them candy. I know there was one of the options that wasn't available. Let me check anyways. Yeah, okay, so never mind. I was just misreading the thing again. Okay, I got five minutes to evolve, capture, transform. Really? I didn't use that stupid thing though. Darn it. 
you know, we got a decent amount of candy. Oh boy. Oh, I'm definitely gonna switch out that song. Ends today! No! Okay, so when does it start? It expires at the end of the year though. Or when does it start? Does it say in game news though, but I've got thirty two days. I won't be able to finish that. Yeesh, my chicken is still there. And the thing is, it doesn't have much health though. It's already over a month since it's been there. I might do this. And hurry up and evolve Noibat. Well, a little noy back or back. No even. Really? 
I gotta admit, though, at least it's perfectly circled within the target range. Unlike certain other Pokemon. Don't you dare fix that. Ah, dang. Sound like an army running by. Now, I don't know if it continues on for the additional extra hours there like it usually does. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. So, got an additional four hours up before it's officially come to a close. I forgot what Noe Vern's uh, move was. It was it Boom Burst? Hmm. As you can see, I have way too many Pokemon to get. Her, her, her. Oh wait, did I also get that though? So it should be three then. Yeah, I still got in there. So let's fix that though and get ready to get off though. Since the event is over. Or at least the wandering Pokemon are over with. Something I didn't notice though, when it comes to a uh, certain Pokemon like Smeargle, I didn't realize this though, but it's attacks that you get are based on your partners. I never noticed that though. I kept wondering why did it, every time I kept capturing one, it was always Thunder Shock and Thunder Bolter, and then eventually I found out though, it's because of the Pokemon that I currently had as a partner at the time. Ah, darn it. But because of this Pikachu right here though, as you can see, it's Thunder Shock and Thunder Bolter. Now, if you notice, though, the other one has some of the lamest attacks there. Where is it? There she goes. This one I got uh, a few days ago, Splash and Struggle, which is the lamest attacks in the games. You do nothing. Just hurt yourself. It's because... Why? But that ends the Community Day event for 2023 though. Here are the things I still need to catch up on. And if anybody wants to add me though, here's the trainer code there. I'll leave it up for about a, a few seconds and then switch off. As you can see, I still have not gotten an icy though or an ocean one. Okay, well, I guess that's it for now though. Thanks for watching this out, MG. And if you like what you see now, you're welcome to subscribe to this on YouTube there. Or where they say smash a like or whatever. I do have a...
playlist of all the previous uh, community day events on the channel there. You can look at them. Please note though, there are still some though that has issues with connections though and sound, all that cool fun stuff there. Meanwhile, I'm going to continue to get this one around. We won't make it though by the end of the event of this day. And I'll see you next year though with another set of Pokemon Community Day events unless something random comes up there. Whether it be my park, Niantic's park, standing on a wall watching paint dry. Okay, so that's about it. Yep. Yep. Anyways, thanks for watching though. And I'll see you next time. Later. Three, two, one, over.